Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the light dimmer circuit by using diac and triac. So basically the combination of here you can see the combination of triac and the diac is is used to dim your light bulb. Okay, you can see to dim your light bulb. So I will explain this circuit and then after that i will run the simulation and i will show you how this circuit is behaving how in actual environment you can dim your light by using a triac and diac okay so let's get started let me explain this circuit first how this circuit looks like and how this circuit works right so you can see i have taken one voltage source that is v1 and if you right click on this voltage source v1 you can see this is the sinusoidal pulse right this is the sinusoidal pulse and the amplitude for this sinusoidal pulse is 166 volt and the frequency is 60 kilohertz right the frequency is 60 kilohertz so that is how you can define your ac source here that is you can see the amplitude is 166 volt peak and then you can see i have one one resistance r1 and this resistance i am uh, i am changing the value of this resistance so i define the step parameters step param so you can see this r1 is defined as r dim and the value of r dim is you can how will you define the value of r dim so it's very easy to define the value of r dim is uh, by using dot step parameters that means dot step param r dim list and you can define the value from 1k 50k 100k 200k 300k 325k so what basically you are doing is here you are dimming you are dimming the light by using different different value of this r1 okay this r1 so you can see the minimum value of this r1 is 1k and the maximum value of this r1 is 325k and then we have one small cap right this is capacitor you can see then from here i have connected this diac okay diac q1 and i so one terminal of this diac goes to the r1 and c1 other terminal of this diac is goes to the triac okay so this is the triac and you can see here since since we are trying to simulate the bulb light bulb by using a resistive load that is called r load okay so let let us assume let us assume you have connected light bulb here so for the simulation purpose in lt spice in place of light bulb i used one simple resistance and it you can see it is called as r load and the value for this r load is 135 ohm okay so here you can see your ac signal is coming then you have varying resistance value r1 this drive the triac d1 and this drive the this drive the triac and once the triac is driven you have the current path from here from here to here then light bulb and then triac and it goes to here okay so so to simulate the voltage at this light bulb it let i have i have designed one more circuit and you can see there is a voltage source and this is this is just to simulate how how your light bulb is how you can dim your light bulb so this is you can see this is power source and this is resistance r to 50k and i will measure the load power here and you can see one capacitor that is one microfarad okay so i have defined the value of this this power source you can see is 
this power source v equals to this power source let us say given by v equals to v a v the voltage across this light bulb that is called a and b v a v and i r load and the current flowing through this this light bulb so voltage across this this light bulb is a and v that is v a v and i r load that means whatever is power whatever power is here you can see whatever power is here i am trying to simulate this power by using this voltage source by using this voltage source and connecting one more load resistance okay so now let me run the transient analysis dot trans you can see here this is dot trans and if you right click on it here you can find the transient and stop time is 0 0.3 second right so let me now run the simulation and show you i will show you how what is the current waveform of this track what is the uh, how you you are dimming your light bulb okay so let me run the simulation and here you go so it's still simulation is running since you, you are changing the value of r1 so let me zoom it you can see you you can see here the, this is the time and this is the voltage and you can see at here you have around the voltage is 102 volt okay so this is your voltage and it is keep on changing the maximum voltage i can see here for now is 102 and the minimum voltage i can see here for now is 4.73 that means that means this is the load power v load power you can see this is the waveform from here so this you can see you are changing the voltage across your light bulb right you are changing the voltage across light bulb so that means that means you are directly dimming your light bulb okay so let me show you the power so just control alter and you can press on it and you can see the power your power is maximum 100 800 milliwatt here and the minimum you can see right so you can see the power let me show you the current flowing through this track okay so what is the current which is flowing through this track okay so you can see this kind of current let me delete this so you'll you can see your current is flowing a uh, sinusoidal here this goes up 1.2 ampere and this goes minus to 1.2 ampere let me zoom it and you can see you have this kind of this kind of current waveform through your track okay you can see how this waveform looks like and how this simulation then okay let me add one more plot pen and now let me show you the input voltage so your input voltage is sinusoidal with the peak voltage of 166 with 60 hertz frequency so this is your input voltage right and this one is your current flowing through the track okay this this is your current flowing through the track and the third one is your voltage across this resistance okay so your load power the third one is your load power right so guys hope you uh, you have understood 